Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to Shell Shockers. So, this past week there was a a new update, especially to the inventory system. We now have a photo booth, which looks fantastic. I haven't really messed around with it yet. Uh, I wanted to wait until we got on camera. Um, and we'll kind of just see how it is. Uh, so we've got a selfie booth, which is fantastic. Um, and we can just kind of select from things over here. Background. Oh, cool. Oh, and you're like kind of like semi sitting on top of one of these locations. Ah, I kind of like that. Fantastic. So what do we got? We got the backstage. This is downstairs on the that one stage level in that like basement area. Uh, this is, I forget the name of this level, but it's, it's got like an underground thing here and there's like two ends. Uh, this is castle. Yeah, this is just your standard like castle level, uh, on the far end. Yep. Okay. Let's see if there's any of these that I, okay. This is on top of the pillar. There's the two, the two layers of things over here. There's a gap down here with a platform. Okay, cool. Uh, dirt is, yeah. So this is, uh, this leads over to that dead end area. There's the path that goes through here. This starts sloping down and goes underneath across to the other side. Awesome. Oh, uh, enchanted. That's the, the, <laughs> the that's that flying castle, that pink castle one. Uh, this is that Halloween map. Uh, this is four quarters rats. Oh, this is like the, <laughs> this is like the kitchen level. This one's actually really cool. I, I like this level a lot, uh, thematically. Scales. Can you even, I don't think you can get to this spot. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, time twist. Okay. That's that, uh, that like hedge maze level. Uh, Wimbledon. This is the, okay. Red. Oh, blue and a green screen. Cool. Egg size, medium, large. Oh, 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 that's cool. Click the egg to po- oh, click the egg to crack. Oh, that's awesome, actually. And then we can remove- oh, cool. We can add or remove various components. What happens if we move everything? <laughs> <laughs> my mom said it was my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> That's actually really funny. So if I hold the... Yeah, so if you're holding the thing... Oh, I wish you could have it holstered. I wish you could have it holstered and... Uh, and have nothing in your hand. That would be pretty cool. But it is cool that you can, like, select the thing now. I like that. Okay, so, um, let's see. What other, what other things should I check out here? Is there any, oh, let's, uh, let's put everything on and let's check the take photo button. Uh, download. Okay. So I'm assuming that downloaded to my downloads folder. Let's see. Um, downloads folder. Oh, yep. There it is. Oh, it's a PNG and everything. Oh, what did I just click on? Ah, it's a really nice PNG. That's great. This would be so much better for making thumbnails. Hold on, let me let me grab um catacomb. Uh which one's really which one would be really great for this? Uh Wimbledon Enchanted Dirt. Uh I think Castle's a good one for this. Let's go like that, and then take photo. Does it also download the image as well? It does. Oh, fantastic. I think personally I would end up not using the, the background option if I were making screen or thumbnails. I think I may just use this one for the thumbnail here, uh, just because that is generally the best option. Um, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to... You know what? I might as well show you guys how I make thumbnails normally. 
Um, normally what I do is I do this exact thing. I take a screenshot of this and then I cut out the blue of the background. Uh, but now I can just take a photo and download that. Um, and then, yeah, here, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll take this time to go do that. So I will be right back. All right, so here we go. I've got my Photoshop open and I always make sure to have this default blue background in the background just ready whenever I need it. And I have this, uh, this logo saved. Um, just so that I have, I already have the assets that I need. I already have those saved in Photoshop document file. So normally what I would do is I would take a screenshot of the egg on that main screen and then I would drag and drop it into here, uh, and do this. And then I would, you know, I'd place it wherever it needs to go. I rotate it however, however once. Sometimes I'll put a background on it. So like I would go up here into... Uh, layer style. There's a couple of things. I might do a drop shadow. So you can pull off something like this. Uh, or, uh, sometimes I want to do a... If it's a Teams... Uh, if it's specifically I want to make sure that I'm showing that I'm doing a Teams mode, I will, uh, sometimes use the stroke here. And then pick a blue or a red color, depending on what I want to do. So I, I could do that. So this is your more like in-game uh, opponent color or uh, friend color, whatever. Uh, this is your like in-game thing. Uh, I would I would remove this little red bit down here though. Uh, the other way sometimes I like to do it is I like to use the glow. And this sometimes will give you a more dynamic, uh, a more dynamic version of that effect. And then what I can do is I can go uh, simplify layer and that'll give me that effect, which is more of a general glow rather than a thick, bold line. Um, and then I would sometimes put text or, or whatever. That's generally the most simple way to do a thumbnail that I would normally do. The other option here is now, now that we have this, I can take this into here and then let's, uh, let's close this one down. So now I can pull off something like this. But in this case, again, I would have to cut out myself, but in, in this Im immediate instance, I do have uh, this option where I can just kind of place this on top of the other one. So I might do that uh, just to make this a little bit easier. Uh, not quite. Hold on, let me... Uh, Get that in the exact position. There we go. Okay, so I could do that, but then I would drop this behind here so that I am out in front. Uh, one other thing, though, is, there's a couple of things I like to do here. Uh, one, I can just go, I can fill, just put a blur pass on the background. So that means that everything in the foreground is eye-catching. So, like, me here now, everything else behind me is blurry, but I am not. And then in this case, I would put like a, um, I would then put a drop shadow on this. A lot of this too is I could, I could make my own drop shadow. So then I'd go yay like that. So then that gives you a, a, a visual distinction between the background and your, your character. You, uh, anytime you have something on screen like this, you want it to be distinct from the background. Like very much. So it, it draws your eye a little bit better. Um... The other way that I could do it in an instance like this is you can do a radial blur. Uh, there is a radial blur in Photoshop, but I like to do this one manually. So I would take like, is it the sponge? Uh, which one's the blur tool? Smudge, no, blur tool is here. Yeah, so I go like this and I would grab and I would strengthen that. And then I, uh, oh, whoops. I was, uh, <laughs> hold on. There we go. Get on the right layer here. So then I'll, I'll just go around these back areas and start blurring them. When As they get fur the harder, the further away they get from my character, the more it gets blurry. So like you'll see everything up here right up next to the character is really crisp and clean. But then the farther back you get, it gets a little bit more blurry. That's the other one. It, it entirely depends on 
what I want out of the image and how I want it to be presented. If there's like a lot of clutter going on in the background or if, or sometimes the background itself is the thing that I want to be showcased. But in this case, it, there's stuff on the character model that I want to do. Um, so generally, that's how I would do this. In this instance, because it is a photo mode, I think I would want to do something more similar to... More similar to this. Uh, because it, you get to see this, like, holding all of the things. And I might move it over to the, the center. Um, and then I think, I think this is good. And then let's go, uh, add some drop shadow to that. Uh, let's go with a, because it's a photo booth, I do want to make it seem as if I am standing in front of an object. So I will make the, I'll make the, the drop shadow actually more of a solid line. So that it shows that, hey, this is an object that I'm standing in front of, rather than just general distraction from the background. Um, and then a lot of times it's just kind of like, oh, where where looks best? Think that kind of thing. Uh, I do want potentially a camera. All right, we now have our camera. And we're going to put that just over here. Just, just to explain that, hey, this is a, a new camera mode feature. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in just a little bit. So I need a separate layer underneath. And then I can do... Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Um, I need to do this here on this layer nope this layer here and I can zoom in go like this go actually this would be easier if I use the line tool yeah let's do that move this down to about right there and then simplify that uh, and then drop this down and merge that one with this. And now we can grab this guy, do all of these and that. Oh, let's let's uh, deselect from this. And I will do it like this. There we go. And then we can fill bucket. That did not work. Uh, oh, duh, because this is also I'm dumb. Uh, okay, so that last one, I need to do this. I need to merge that down first and then do that. Because I'm dumb. There we go. So now we can drop these in. And th what, what will happen here is that these will have a bit of a white line around them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to remove that, but that's pretty easy. So let's also put another layer down here. And we're just going to do that really quick. And then I, I can just go in and, oh, that's bad. I can go in and do this around the edges of these. It's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of a white line, which I don't mind. Um, sometimes that does give a little bit of a, a better, you know, a visual, visual appeal. So that it doesn't all stand out or it doesn't all, it doesn't all look exactly the same. I know there's a lot faster way I could do this, but, uh. This is what it is. Let's see how that looks. Nope, that looks that looks bad. <laughs> Hold on. Let's um let's do this. Grab these and then what I can do is layer style settings and I can stroke with this one. 
give it a center of three. And now I can deselect. And we've got, oh, dang it. That, that one down there has got that on it now too. Um, oh, but now I can erase that just from this, this one, right? Oh, cause that's all. Okay. Let's merge, let's merge this down and then we're going to, we're going to do this the other way and we're going to do stroke the selection here with a black, uh, center of three pixels. That's a little better. And now I can fix this bottom piece here. Let's go grab this and then just paint that in. There we go. That looks generally okay. Uh, yeah, I think this is, I think this is good. So either way, that's about the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And I will be back to Shell Shockers when there is another major update. Good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!